This time, we're in a country which has a rich tradition of flamboyance in architecture, Spain. There's something in the Spanish culture, that toreador in tight trousers with glittery embroidery. Gaudi threw down the gauntlet for future architects. And it's this sense of adventure that's brought us to Spain, where there's so much thrilling architecture. The same spirit can be found in residential properties too. So we're heading away from the crowded coastlines and into Spain's dramatic interior. It's a land of experimentation. This is a building made out of what looks like pieces of bridge, where architects are rewriting the rule book. This would be a normal front door. From high art homes to beautiful spaces for practical living. We'll uncover some extraordinary homes that challenge and surprise. Our journey begins in the northeast corner of Spain, in the foothills of the Pyrenees. For a thousand years, religious travellers have passed through here on their way to the holy city of Santiago de Compostela. But we're making a pilgrimage of a different kind. The home we're visiting is totally unlike the stone farmhouses found in this beautiful region. Designed by architects who have recently won the Pritzker Prize, the Nobel Prize of Architecture, this house has garnered an awful lot of attention internationally, not least because it's made entirely of rusted metal. Are you excited about seeing this house? I'm very excited about seeing this house. I'm making a pilgrimage to see something really significant. It's cut into the edge of the hillside, isn't it? So is it my imagination, Piers, or is it there's something slightly comedic about it because it is just a row of little boxes? But that's so what's so fantastic, is that making interesting architecture isn't about making interesting shapes, and that's something that this is telling us. That's that fascinating, So, because I think a lot of people perceive it as, as, as actually just a, a form, about form, yeah. but it's Frank not about Gary form. Frank Gehry and Bill Bauer making something that says, look at me. Yeah. This says, don't look at me. This house is a really exceptional piece of architecture by any standard. Built for a famous chef and her family, this home is designed to appear like a series of agricultural buildings that merge with the landscape. Created by architects at the top of their game, it redefines how a domestic building can look. I'm fascinated by this house. This is the front door I was looking for. But what's great is that that is front door size. Actually, it's about front door width, and this would be a normal front door. And there's yet another entrance in here. Which has a veil-like quality to it, doesn't it? Look at this, Piers. Look. A key challenge for the architects was to build this four-bedroom home along the edge of an escarpment. The underground entrance was excavated and foundations cut into the ridge line along a 60 metre plot. Designed to resemble agricultural buildings, the house is made up of 11 specially crafted steel boxes, all linked by a steel corridor, cleverly hidden by a man-made ridge, planted up to blend in with the surrounding landscape. The master bedroom is at one end with three further bedrooms at the other, in between, there's a generous amount of living space. The lift arrives into the centre of the house. What's through here? It's such a dark entrance. I've never been in a house that, where you enter completely in the dark. With nothing in it to give you any sense of where you are. And then suddenly the light. I'm speechless. Are you thrilled? I think I'm most thrilled by this sense that there's a building that in many ways is a piece of high art and yet it's only really one or two steps away from a farmer's slurry pit. This is rooted in this landscape in the best possible way. You can almost see the cows coming in to drink at this, can't you? Thank you. 
This house is truly minimalist. Uh huh. <gasps> the architects have created a warm and captivating atmosphere. It makes me wonder why more houses aren't made completely from metal. And I wonder if I'll need a can opener to find the television. There's a steely determination to hide life's functionality here. Although it's aesthetically pleasing, I imagine it can be a challenge to live with. I think this building is intriguing, both inside and out. I'd like to find out from architect Rafael Aranda what the clients really wanted when they approached them to design the house. A ver, eh, ellos querían un lugar para aislarse y un lugar donde, pues bueno, pudieran estar muy relacionados con el paisaje. ¿no? There's also one single material that binds this house together. Why steel? Es un material que nos permite desde desde ser contemporáneo que también tiene la particularidad de que tiene vida o sea tú lees el paso del tiempo en este material nos interesa que la arquitectura transmita el paso del tiempo it's an experience enjoyed by the owner Fina Pushtaval who lives here with her husband and two daughters hello Henny's we're exploring the kitchen garden below the house. The kitchen is Fina's natural habitat, and it's probably a good idea not to get under the feet of a chef while she's hard at work. It's lovely to bring the nature right, mm. actually, into the house. Look, the dragonflies are coming in. Yeah. <laughs> They're mating on their yes. way in. Maybe that's a device to keep the chickens out, because actually, without that, the chickens could just come in, <laughs> which I think would be really nice, actually. There's no chicken on the menu today. Delicious. Wow. Just that homegrown veg. Peace yes. to peace. Yes. To this peace. house and to peace. Mm. I had my doubts about living in a big steel box, but I'm warming to the idea. I think at the end of the day, which this is, you can judge a house by the quality of its fire. I actually love the generosity of this fire. And I love the way that the, the fire is level with the ground around it. Have you ever seen a bigger flu? Be careful how you answer that. 